Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and today we have just received a new free update from The Sims team that includes a ton and I mean a ton of bug fixes but also new items for both Create a Sim and Build and Buy mode so I thought we would go check them out quickly. So these are all completely free. All you need to do is update your base game. One new thing that they added is now you can click through all your different pack arts for the packs that you own which is kind of cool I haven't seen these in so long so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that but let's jump into create a sim and let's see all the new items that we're getting today so one of the new big things that comes with this free update is a new freelancer career which is a brand new type of career your sims can choose to be a freelance artist, programmer, or writer, and they will work through an agency, and then they will work through gigs, kind of like in the acting career, but you can do them in your own time. And I think it's really cool. I saw a little bit of it in the stream, but basically you can now make money through like writing different articles, etc., doing programming, and it's just a really cool new job for your sims to do. But if we look at the creative sim items, we should have a couple of new clothes. Let me locate them. So first of all, the sim has recently collaborated with Moschino, which is like a very luxury fashion brand. I think it's Italian and they made a bunch of clothes that you can buy for yourself. But in, uh, I guess, celebration of that collaboration, they have added one of the pieces into the creative sim as well. So we've got this hoodie with the freezer bunny on it. We've got three different swatches. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I guess we got something from Moschino now in the Sims game as well. But here is one of the new um, cardigans that we got from this free update. So this one kind of is referring to, I'm guessing like the programmer career that you can now choose to take. Oh, here's a different one. This is actually kind of nice. I like it. I really like how it's set up and there's a lot of different color options that you can basically use for anything. We've got two new outfits. First one is this one. So this really long cardigan over a shirt and some jeans. Um, to me, this kind of looks like a grandma outfit a little bit. I mean, I'm sure it would definitely go for some Sims. I don't know, it's just making her look bigger than she is, but it's cool, it's different. It's just definitely not my style at all, but this is a new um, cable knit cardigan outfit. And the second one, which I'm way more excited for, is this one. And this one is so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Love this cardigan. And I love how it's kind of like tucked into the skirt, which looks really good. I did not know this cardigan comes with patterns. So that is a great surprise. That is an interesting swatch on the skirt. Oh my God. Some of these swatches are actually kind of crazy. What is that one? Okay, you can be a ladybug if you want. Yeah. All right. I'm way more happy with these swatches here in the end that are a little bit more neutral, toned down. That one's real pretty. And I definitely really like this first swatch as well. We also got a new pair of flats. I believe they are these ones. I don't remember seeing these before. They're actually kind of nice. Like pretty basic, but a nice like addition because we only have pretty much one pair of flats originally from base game. So yeah, that's I like that. That's pretty cool. Men also got a couple of new things. By the way, the hair and stuff that they're wearing is custom content, so that does not come with the update. Here's the Moschino hoodie for guys, and here is one of the new um, shirts that guys are getting. This is a button-up shirt. Um, I like it. It's quite nice. I do like the patterns. And then we've got a couple neutral swatches. This one has a different color on the inside. Yeah, it's nice. I'm glad guys are getting some stuff too. I don't know about the polka dots, but it's a cool one. And I'm guessing this one is kind of like the girls one, but for men. Yep, we've got the same patterns in here. Oh, I really like these ones with the dual and like triple tones. Oh my god. Love these ones. Those ones are so nice. I think I have CZ that is really similar to this. Like that, that's a really nice new sweater. And then the last shirt we got for guys is this colored sweater or colored. I don't know how to say that word. Basically it has a color. Um, it has some dual tones, which look pretty cool. And what I like most about this is it has elbow patches, which I always think are so cute. So we've got a new sweater for guys. 
This is actually so hard trying to find the new items from here because they don't have the little new marker But I believe these are the new pants that we got for Mend if we already had these I'm really sorry I don't remember what we have because I only use custom content for my sims But these look like a new pair of pants from this update and that is it for new Creator Sim items that come completely free. If you have the Sims for base game, all you need to do is update your game and these items will magically appear in your Creator Sim inventory. Now let's move over to build and buy and check out some of those new items. All right, here we go. We've got 11 new objects, including like a new table, a laptop, and some really cool stuff that I did see quickly on the stream. So I will pull those out for you right now. All right, first thing we got is this edgier ladder case, which is a new bookshelf for your wall. And so far, we only had this little one. We've never gotten another wall-based bookshelf. And I actually love this one so much. It looks so cool, modern, but not boring. And I absolutely love the different decor pieces on it. And I'm assuming there's a couple of spots here where you can put your own decor items. But here are the different color swatches that we do get this in. I actually love this piece so much. I feel like they did such a great job. It is really pretty. And to go with that, we got a new desk. This one is the Anglet desk and again, obsessed with this. This looks so much like something I have seen so many times in Ikea and different um, furniture companies. And I again, these color swatches are so nice. We've got the white, we've got the black, and then we've got different broad options and some different funkier colors this is so so nice like honestly i would love a desk like this and i love that there's a couple shelves right here and they're storing a couple books down here too and to go with the set again we've got a new computer chair the professional which looks like this i think we were definitely need of a new chair to use at your computer whoa we've got a lot of swatches here a lot of really good ones you can see just like the frame for this is changing color the cushions are staying white but then when you go down here you've got different colors oh i love the green that is such a nice chair We've got a new matching end table, a cute anglet. Oh, that's adorable. And it has the same color swatches, so you can make it match perfectly. That actually looks so nice, so sleek and modern, completely something I love. So I'm really happy about that. We also got a couple of new decor pieces, kind of going with the whole free Lancer career option coming now where you can be a programmer, a writer, or an artist. So we've got this a not so simple pen holder, which is really cute. Oh my goodness. We only had one little pen holder before, which is very much for kids. As you can see, it has like a little um, bear head or something, which I never really liked using for adults. But now we have this much more like mature looking pen holder set. Not sure if you could just hear my cat meow in the background. We've also got this, the notebook, which looks really nice. Great decor for your offices, etc. We've got Robo, the friendly circuitry kit. Okay, interesting. This kind of, I think, is for the programming career, but pretty cute. And then in here, we have a hand reference model for artists and aspiring artists. This perfect hand reference model can help you sketch the perfect hand. I have heard that that's actually pretty hard and it goes on the shelf. Okay, that is really nice. And th those are the color swatches for that. But let's not forget they have actually added a new computer to the base game. We're getting a laptop in the base game. Apparently this is unlocked. The first time a sim max out the performance meter in the freelancer career as a freelance writer but you can also use a cheat called bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement which will let you just purchase these items from the build and buy mode but basically here is a new laptop which i'm so excited about because we only got these from strangerville i like this model a lot more it looks a lot more modern and it comes with color changing keyboard which i think is so cool i will show it to you guys in a second in live mode here is the color changing keyboard on this laptop in live mode. 
it is so pretty and something a lot of gamers actually have. I think there was a couple of different swatches as well. So I think that's so cool, such a cool addition. We got a couple of new wall items as well, which are unlocked through the Freelancer career. First one is this Supreme Freelancer Award, which looks like this. I don't really know what I would use this for. I'm assuming it can look different depending which branch of the Freelancer career you're doing, but this is what it looks like. Although I'm not sure, it might be a computer for all the branches. And then we got these, Bitter as a Pair of Paintings. And I love these. Oh wow, they are huge. Here we go, but they are like some pretty huge paintings leaning against the wall, which is something I love to do all the time. Obviously you can scale these down or up if you want to, although they become really huge. And oh my God, oh, that looks so nice. The color scheme here, um, apparently they go with like most of the different freelancer uh, branches you can do, but they're so cool. Look at that little hot dog. Wow, I really love these. One major thing that was also unlocked with this new free update is if you have the Strangerville game pack, you have seen all of these different new looking cacti in the Strangerville world, but we weren't able to use them. So now if you use this code bp.showhiddenobjects and then you make your way to the debug mode or the menu, you will be able to find the cacti in here. <gasps> Look at it all, here they all are. And these are things we didn't have before. So we've got, oh my goodness, a bunch of new cacti that you can use while building, putting these wherever you want to. That is actually so amazing. I was really hoping we would get this. So thank you the Sims team for listening to us, <laughs> requesting this. <gasps> these are so nice. Like this is so great to use as new decorating and landscaping tools. Oh, here's another little one. And there's this one, and this one. There's so many. Oh, that one's pretty. What's this one? Ooh, do they come in different colors? Nah, they only come in one color, but that is kind of what I expected. That's a cool new cacti as well. We've got some flowers and then we've got, oh, We've got some stones. I'm not sure if we had these before, but we definitely do now. So those are the new updates we just got for free with the new Sims 4 patch updates that you can download for your game as well. I hope you guys like these new items. I will link the patch notes down below because there is a lot of stuff in there, a lot of new updates and bug fixes, etc., which I will not be going through in this video. I just wanted to show you guys the new items which I am in love with, but give the video a thumbs up up if you're excited for these new free items and the fact that the Sims team keeps expanding just the base game, which to me is so cool. So yeah, and if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. I do post new Sims videos almost every single day. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you guys again soon. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and I hope you're having a great day. Bye guys. This